How about a nice quick commercial for all those attractive magazines about warfare? You know, the ones with beautifully presented pictures of the latest tank crushing device or cruise missile on the market. And they have exciting stories about mercenaries and other elite groups of soldiers, how they kill and maim, things we really ought to know about. And isn't it thoughtful that they've written it in an easy to understand, no nonsense language? So ideal for the children who just love to collect them week by week, week by week, by week, by week, by week, in those charming plastic folders. Now, the publishers say that they are very educational, which makes you wonder just one little thing. Where the hell did they go to? You know, I was walking around the city the other day, and it was so quiet you could have heard a window being smashed. It's strange, really. I suppose a lot of people are like windows. So many are see-through so many get smashed and so many wander around with a glazed look over them are you like a window is your life a pain hi if you want to feel safer in your car the most popular method is to buy a saint christopher winning smile but why not and what most people like to do is hang it in their windscreen. This is a good idea. Because it swings around and distracts you on long journeys, so you may soon find out if it works. And if you think that's... So much for the law. And of course, one thing we associate with the law is courts. And courts, courts rhymes with swords. And yes, it takes all sorts to make a world and the world is full of strange things. And one example of a thing is a bacon slicer, which, which leads me very neatly into the With all the aggression and violence around, don't you think that society could do with a few more cowards? 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 Yes. Cowards. Yes. Cowards. Isn't that what the military call people who prefer not to kill each other? So it's about time all you cowards came out of the closet and got to know one another. You can all help. If you see a fight starting, get the names and addresses of the people with their hands in their pockets whistling or walking away. It may be simple, but it's a start. Remember, boy George? Well, I don't mean you... What's the matter with a guy? One day he can't do enough for me. Hey, how you doing? Come on, sit down. What do you say to coffee? Oh, no, I'll get it. Next day I say, hi. I give him a smile and he cuts me dead. I don't know where I am with the guy. Hey, who are you talking to? What? Are you cracking up? What? All this mumbling and muttering, you got a head on your shoulders, use it. Of all the creatures in the cosmos, how come the moth is so stupid, stupid, it hates the light, it only comes out in the dark, and then it spends all night beating itself silly, and where? Against the light bulb. So if any of you Dumbo moths are listening, come out in the day. There's light everywhere. You know, I was singing that tune just the other day, and I got a kind of, <laughs> and I got a kind of, <laughs> and I got a kind of, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> and I got a kind of, <laughs> ringing in my ears, and suddenly I couldn't hear a thing. And I thought, if Beethoven was deaf as a post, how did he know what he was playing? For example, if his piano was out of tune when he played, Da 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 dum. What was the tune he was actually playing in his head? It could have been Aga do do. Aga do do. That's a pity, because he could have had a big hit. Who was it said that observing the United States is like watching an epic movie? Oscar Wilde? Woody Allen? M M M M Max Hedrum. Just think. They've got an actor for a president, economic advisors called projectionists. Even their latest defense strategy is named after a film, Star Wars. And why pick on that one? Why not something gentler like Kramer versus Kramer? And of course, everywhere in the world to them is just a theater of operations, except when they're fighting in it. And then it's a theater 
of war. Uh, excuse me, can somebody give me a cue there, please? Okay. Well, which camera am I working to? <laughs> well, if you just tell me, I'll do it. Tim, you want to organize that, please? Can you just do that one simple thing? All right, good. Now we're in business. Yes, I'm sure I'm, they'd all love to know Simon Le Bon's favorite color, but what about the more important questions in the world? Like, who is it that loses that odd shoe you find lying in the gutter? And is it that same idiot who leaves one soaking wet glove stuck on a spike of the park railings? <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's blue. Not the glove. Simon's favorite color. <laughs> Boy, you can't trust anyone in this business. You know, in a recent show, I suggested a new game show called Stake Your Bedroom Furniture. Well, I'm damned if there isn't a new game show coming out soon on a major network called Stroke the Piece of Furniture. <laughs> All the contestant has to do is stroke one of the prizes, like a refrigerator, hi-fi system, or video cassette player, in a more loving and sexy way than the hostess, and they get to keep the prize. I'm keeping my mouth shut in future. I don't know what you think about this stuff, but we got to talk to the writer. What? Well, I don't have to do it if I don't want to do it. Who says? Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm very sorry, but I am not going to tell lies, not even little white ones. And certainly, I won't be involved with huge, mind-boggling whoppers that make the truth sound like Alice in Wonderland. No, I leave all that to this spot in the show. You know, being a bit of a <laughs> celeb, celeb, I was invited to a party this weekend. It's being thrown by a bunch of arms dealers. It's a sort of bring your own Maltov cocktail party. Now, that's what I like about arms dealers. They're very sociable. They don't mind who they mix with. Tee hee. Tee hee. Tee hee 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 joke. Anyway, sounds great. The invitations say I can bring an enemy. And we all have to arrive late, so there's a decent fight over the food. Actually, it's a buffet, but they'll sell you a knife if you want one. You know, it's a pity I can't make it, but I'm addressing a CND meeting that night. Well, sorry, I appear to have a fly, fly in here. Okay, buddy. I can see you. Right, just take it easy. I'll bring you down. That's it. Relax. Wait, you're... You're going around in circles. Oh, I see you've lost a wing. That's tough. Right. Okay, let's try coming in a bit slower this time, huh? Hold it. No, throttle back. Throttle back. Left, left rudder. You're driving, you're diving too steep. You're never gonna make it. Who'd be an air traffic controller? Well, seems like the old headroom career is taking off. I'm getting offers, I can tell you. Open this, host that, attend this, speak at that. It's weird, I always saw myself as a normal, friendly, happy-go-lucky sort of guy. Sure, I was always popular, but this was, 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 wow! It's really weird! <laughs> oh, I heard a, I heard a hmm from upstairs. Yes, you didn't like that, did you? My odds. Straight jacket. Straight jacket. Yeah, all right. It's the Max Cornelius Headroom Show, where the pace is hot and the sounds are not. So watch this and put some pep in your step, some cut in your strut, rolling your stroke, glad in your stride, slick, and some burn up in your shoulder. Yeah. Well, I sit here and work on what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The is <laughs> shekel. The videos are all very well, but I'm a <laughs> classical music person, as I think you know. That's why I love to watch the better class of TV ads, the one that use real music. Ah, <laughs> uh, J.S. Bach wrote some beautiful pieces for the cigar. And how about... <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, good old Vorchek.
What are bread salesmen? <laughs> and I have to smile when I see you more hmm, ignorant people in record shops asking for the pure wool music and the deodorant tune. <laughs> of course, being a bit of an expert, I have a different problem. Last week I had to stand in a sweet shop and sing the whole of Handel's Messiah because I'd forgotten the name of my favorite chocolate bar. <laughs> to smile. There it is. Actually, the golf lessons are going incredibly well. Backswing coming along, approach shots to the green coming along. Putting still needs some work on it, but uh, I'd say it's getting there. Nine out of ten. Oh. No, don't go away, because I got something really great to show you. Now, I know these videos are very good, but you can have too much of a good thing, and your mind can sort of OD on them. So really, they can be dangerous. And so, by way of a change, here's something you must not miss. It's unique. I don't believe it's ever been seen on TV before, because I brought it in myself today. And it's totally different. It's a rare film of how golf golf go golf balls 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 golf balls are made. Just look at this. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. That's amazing. Oh god, it gets better all the time. Woo! There, you see? Who says I don't know what the public wants? Hmm? How do you know? This is a pop video program. That has nothing to do with it. A lot of people who watch pop videos are interested in golf. Do a survey for once in your life, Tim. Okay, Max. Why does he do it? Why does he do it to me? He says to me, Max, who do you want on your show that's really fascinating and really special? So I say, easy. Severiano Ballesteros. He can come on and talk about golf. And Tim says, who is he? Who is he? He's only won the U.S. Masters, the Dunhill Masters, the British Open, the French Open, and the Spanish Open. Need I go on? And Tim says, he's not interesting enough. Can you believe that? Listen, if he's not interesting, I'd like to know who is. That other fellow, what's his name? Wagen, Wigan, yeah, that's him. Wagen, that's him. He had Princess Anne on. Now, what does she know about golf? Can you play golf on horseback? Of course you can. And that other man, Perkinson, they tell me he had Muhammad Ali on. I bet Muhammad Ali doesn't even play golf. Oh, it makes me angry. Okay, he says Ballesteros isn't interesting. I'll prove him wrong. I'll tell you about him. Listen to this. Severiano Ballesteros is very, very interesting. He is Spanish. He comes from Spain. He wears really stylish sweaters, and he has very interesting dark hair. And wait, wait. He plays, wait! He plays, he plays golf. Oh, what's the... Okay, it seems a lot of you g g g guys have taken my advice on dress and are now walking around in baggy shorts and flip, 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 flop, 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 flip, 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 flop, flop, flops. Great. If you see me, give me a wave. I love to see style. I also enjoy a good laugh. But now you're writing in and asking me the big one, the advice to beat all advice. How to walk out on the street and look a real man. Okay, you want to look macho, right? Here's how you do it. First, it's how you move. Try to get that all-important shoulder twitch. Getting that nice subtle hint of the hairy back just tickling away there under the shirt is essential for the macho man, but not too twitchy, or your cigarette packet will fall out of the pocket in your sleeve. Now, where to work? I'm afraid macho men do not work in public libraries. Sorry, all you he-man bookworms. So, if you have to, at least stamp the books very hard. And if possible, carry them around in a brick hod. Lesson number two. If possible, get a job on a building site, giving full opportunity to wear the too short t-shirt and the baggy hipster jeans, just about to slide down over the hips. So, when you bend down, you expose that essential nine inches of the bottom of your back. And of course, that is the perfect place for your gold chain or your I Love Mary tattoo. See? Think original. And working out of doors does allow you to address passing women with the macho conversation opener. <whistles> and what? Not to be confused with the standard greeting of male friends of what? What, my son? Tim, don't get frightened. I'm only telling them about it. Wait! Wait! Jeez.